Hi, we're Sean and Julie. Welcome back to Chicory's Travels. We have big news. We finally made a decision on whether or not we would like to sell our RV and get a new one or keep it. And first, let me just say a little bit about how we came to our decision. And that was, um, number one, we paid too much for this. We bought it new and we took a depreciation hit on it. And Sean has a video that he did. I'll put a link to it up above, but it's called uh, calculating the true cost of financing a new RV. And with the interest and the depreciation and the overpayment really because we were just so excited when we saw it and we hadn't done a lot of research and we really didn't even try to drive a hard bargain uh, by paying too much all of those things combined uh, really come up to paying a lot of money yeah and then also besides what I say in the video you can read the comments and several people have added additional things that we didn't even consider in the initial uh, calculation yeah, so the bottom line is we paid a lot for this RV and we're still paying on it and we have a goal of being debt free hopefully by the end of the year. But we'd also like to stay debt free. So that means we have decided to keep this RV. And we might get another RV in the future. We do still want to downsize, but not at the expense of uh, meeting our goal and, and staying debt, getting and then staying debt free. So after we pay this off, then we will save up the money and we'll downsize when we have the money to buy a new to us but used RV flat out for cash. But since we decided to stay in the RV, we do want to personalize it a little more. So we're going to, um, I don't know if you'd call it renovate, remodel, or just an RV makeover? Makeover. Okay. Yeah, and he's saying that because he doesn't want it to be a lot of work, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says renovate, remodel, I don't know. That sounds like a lot. So what we want to do, though, is maybe uh, something a little more than brown on brown on tan that is in the, the current RV. So if you've seen our um, tour that I did, I think it was back in June of the RV, I went through and did a tour of the whole thing and I showed how I really don't have a knack for decorating, do I? No, not at all. Uh, hey, don't say it like that, not at all. Come on, I do a little bit. Uh, I'll show you. In February, just a couple months ago, we were going to the RV Entrepreneur Summit and I was going to be meeting some of my uh, RV friends and colleagues, really, some women I've been working with in a mastermind group, and I was going to be meeting them for real, for in person, for the first time, and I thought, oh my gosh, Sean, I have to go buy, like, some decor and, and make me look like I have a little bit of that woman gene in me where I can decorate, right? So I bought a couple of throw pillows and uh, a couple of little pieces of uh, art uh, for the wall, and actually made a cool craft I'll show you in a minute with some sand and shells from Florida mm -hmm. and it added just a little bit of color but it sparked a desire for even more and then at the summit I met Lisa Brown Dan and Lisa Brown um, also have a Heartland fifth wheel they started with a cyclone like we have but now they have a landmark and they did an amazing job with their RV makeover is what they call it too. They have um, a blog called Always on Liberty. Yep, they have a blog and uh, it's a great one. Lisa's been writing for several years now. I think they've been on the road for four years and she has, uh, she has great product reviews. She is so funny. She loves to tell it like it is. And so she has uh, some great commentary as well. And she has agreed to be my design consultant. So I'm going to put a link in the description below to her RV interior makeover blog. And you will not believe it when you see it. I mean, it is gorgeous. They did such a great job. Yeah. And we're at the same campground as them now. And so she's agreed to give me a hand. And Dan is going to give us some painting advice. You and some painting advice. <laughs> okay. He's going to give me some painting advice. What are you going to do? Film. 
<laughs> Sean's going to be the cameraman. He's going to pay for it. That's what you should yeah, have said, right? Because right? yeah. he's the one that's got the, the job still, right? You're going to pay for it. So, But it's going to be on a budget still. So we're going to do a series of blog posts and videos to show you the process as we go along. And uh, one of the things that we like to talk about is the finances. We're still trying to save money, but we do want to invest a little bit in our daily life and our daily happiness so we're going to do a little bit here but we're going to show you how to do an RV makeover on a budget. My friend Lisa Brown that I told you about Always on Liberty has done such a wonderful job with her RV makeover that I have convinced her to give me some advice okay. and I really appreciate it so I'm just gonna have her share with you a little bit of what she's already told me about planning so first Lisa why don't you tell us what's your main advice your top advice for planning an RV renovation what comes first okay the very first thing is you're going to sit down with your spouse because if you don't sit down with your spouse, you might get in a little trouble. In the uh, Probably the most important thing is set a budget. And with the budget, once you set that, um, you are going to start your own project folder. And you are going to take this folder everywhere you go. And in the folder, you are going to keep all your receipts. So they're all in one place. You're going to keep your fabric swatches, your, your paint chips, uh, manuals, everything that has to pertain to your renovation or your RV personalization. And then another reason why I keep the receipts in here is um, you're going to find yourself buying things and taking them back. They're going to work. They're not going to work. So if you keep everything in one place, and this folder is going to go with you like your purse. It is going to go everywhere. Keep it in your car or your truck and uh, take it in all the stores if you're matching shower curtains or pillows or rugs or whatever you have everything right here that you can match and coordinate your second thing is you're going to want to make sure that your rv or your camper is clean which means if it means uh washing the walls or uh, you know just starting off with a nice clean palette and then as you'll notice uh, later we'll talk about the types of paint you use and the applications and the caulking and the uh, everything that goes into the quote construction phase um, and then after that comes the real fun of accessorizing once you get it all done you'll have this new awesome home that doesn't really look like a dingy or dreary drab RV. It's going to look like your new castle. So don't forget to head on over to Lisa's blog post that I have linked in the description below. It shows some photos of what she's done and it has a lot of those amazing decorative touches that she was talking about. I mean, I looked around my RV and thought, well, I don't really have like any shelves or places to put those kind of things. And, and she just has a real knack for that. So take a look at it and then follow along as we renovate, redecorate, make over, whatever you want to call it, our RV. So real quick, I'm going to show you um, some ideas that I have for the RV and then I want you guys to tell me like what is your experience it doesn't matter if it's not an RV even um, if you've done it in your home um, just ideas tips tricks horror stories advice or do not do that uh, uh, will also work okay so the first thing is I have decided I am NOT painting the cabinets I actually like the brown cabinets. I had brown cabinets in my house before and I really enjoyed them. But what I didn't have with brown cabinets was also brown furniture, brown curtains, brown floor, you know. So I'm going to make some changes to add colors, but one of them is not painting the cabinets. What I do want to do, however, is paint all the walls. So all throughout the RV, in the slide, and everywhere else I'm going to paint. Um, I'm also going to, at the top of these, uh, uh, cornice boards, I think they're called. Anyways, up at the top, there's a little strip of brown wood. I'm going to paint that also, and I'm going to paint this brown wood that's up at the ceiling of the slide. 
Um, so I need to pick paint colors. But Lisa tells me that the most important thing to pick first before you pick your paint colors is your fabric. So by that she means your fabric for your curtains or like any throw pillows. So I'm not necessarily going to stick with these, although I, I do like them. I do like this color, but I don't have to 100% stick to these because she's also going to show me how to make these really cool no sew pillow covers so you can kind of change up your look whenever you want also. Um, we are going to get rid of this sofa. So we're going to show you the sofa. It's super long. And the main reason why we're going to get rid of it, we don't really like it. It's not really comfortable and it just takes up the whole slide here and you have five cushions so five people are over you can sit in a row but then it is really kind of hard to have a conversation all, anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this with it's kind of like a love seat. It's really two recliners and then it has a thing in the middle that has cup holders and USB and power. And then the other thing that we're going to do on the opposite end is put one of those little tables that has the drop leaf and a couple of chairs. So that setup we saw in a lot of the RVs that I shared in the video. I'll put a link to it up here. It was uh, Fifth Wheels Under 35 Feet, I think was the name of it. And it was where I showed some of my favorite fifth wheels that we were looking at at the RV show in Florida and it had that setup where you kind of have the theater seating is what they called it and then also the uh, dining table. So the other thing I said was I was going to do um, curtains and I'm going to do them here and then also we have a deck so we have a sliding door and with our sliding door it came with this nice black and tan curtain. We're going to change that out and Lisa is going to show me how to make um, a curtain, well, more like a valance that will go over here. I'm going to change out some of my little um, art that I have now that's all black and tan because I thought that matched. And I guess it matches, but it is boring. Um, and then I'm also going to do a little curtain there. In the kitchen, the backsplash that came with the RV is kind of falling down like the adhesive's not sticking and it's kind of ugly anyway. It is uh, brown and silver and I am going to change that out with a beautiful colorful black splash. And then I'm going to do the bedroom, the bathroom, and the garage but I'm going to save those plans for a future video. So don't forget, please leave me a note in the comments. Let me know uh, any advice that you have on, on decorating, painting, anything like that. Love to hear from you. Don't forget to check out Lisa's blog and don't forget to follow along as I show you our RV interior makeover. Wish us luck. Mm -hmm.